Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another Plan With Me video. I am speaking very quietly because it is currently 3 in the morning and my parents are asleep. I don't know if this is too much information, but I have been running into a lot of stomach pains in the past week for some reason. And yeah, I typically like to finish videos on Saturdays and then have it ready for Sunday, but I was just knocked out asleep. So I'm going to quickly finish this video and then I'll go back to bed. Anyways, um, for this week, I'm doing a sweet treats theme and I'm basing it off of the sweet treats emoji washi from the advent calendar. There's like Oreos, cookies, brownies, cupcakes, cake, and donuts. And I picked out some matching Tombow colors, um, a pink, two browns, and also a gray, and I showed the numbers at the beginning of the video. So I put down the washi at the top, and then I just did a really simple sidebar setup. I did my usual work tracker and also my highlight section. I've just found that with a sidebar, I work a lot better with a less structured sidebar. So things like habit trackers and dedicated highlights to each day of the week. It doesn't really work for me. Um, I just need one work tracker and a general highlight section so I can fill in whatever I want as the week goes by, but not have the pressure of like finding one highlight per day. Even though it is somewhat useful, I just do find that it's a little bit difficult to keep up with. And then on Monday, I started off the week strong with uh, stomach pains, which is great. Um, so I put down this unicorn sticker from Frank Hearts U, and then I marked in my work just with a swatch of my Tombow brush pen, and then I wrote work on top and drew in my arrows. As always, my mornings tend to be very repetitive because I have the same morning routine of basically doing emails and then maybe one or two other work items and then I go to the gym. And lately for marking going to the gym, I just draw some uh, dumbbells and write down whatever it is that I'm doing. After the gym on Monday, I went to the grocery store and then I continued work for the day. I've hit down this girl sticker from Fox and Cactus, and this girl looks basically like me, so I love this one. Um, to mark in that I was overlooking a DHL delivery, it was a very big one, so I just wanted to make sure that, you know, all of the cartons were there. And then I put down this emoji sticker to mark in that I had a FaceTime chat. And then in the evening, I continued working. Moving on to Tuesday, I had my usual morning routine, and then I continued work after the gym. Um, my mom had a dentist appointment on this day, so I just drew in an exclamation mark. Um, it's not obviously part of work, but it overlapped with when I was working. And then I basically just had to supervise some cutting and order packing. And then I continued work after that. Um, you might be wondering why I marked in work twice even though it was consecutive. Um, it was just because the tasks were pretty distinct, um, so you know, in the top part I was supervising and then in the bottom part I was doing some of my own work like packing snail mail stuff and also doing inventory counts and also in between I had a really quick break so that's why I felt like marking work separately um, and then I put down this sloth working emoji to mark in that I finally started doing some designing um, basically for the past few weeks all I've been really doing is packing orders and um, doing a lot of management rather than designing just because I really needed to get orders out and I didn't want to focus any new energy onto designing new products until, you know, I was confident that we could get things out on time. So yeah, I just wanted to design the February freebie graphics and also some of the seven year anniversary freebies. And then I ended off the night by reading, so I put down this reading emoji. All right, moving on to Wednesday, I did my usual morning routine, um, although I did work an extra hour-ish because I was filming this video, and I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, but I get a lot of questions about whether I am planning after these things have happened, or if I'm planning in advance, or whatever. Um, typically, I plan two to three times a week, so all of the clips that you're watching are typically filmed separately, but I'm doing the voiceover at the end of the week, so it seems like I'm memory keeping and writing down things that already happened, but generally I am planning ahead. Anyways, I went to the gym and then I did a quick trip by the drugstore and then I continued work for 
a very long stretch of time. Um, I basically had a bunch of designing to do, I had some shipments to do, and also um, put together some parcels, and then I jumped straight into packing some more orders, so I put down this derpy emoji sticker. Then on Wednesday evening, I just wanted a little pocket of relaxation, so I put down this coffee girl sticker from Odd Loop, and I marked in that I had my night coffee and also read a little bit of the current book that I'm reading, which is A Little Life. And then after maybe an hour and a half of me time, I continued designing some more stuff. So um, I think I did that for basically two hours. And then moving on to Thursday, I once again started off the morning with my usual morning routine. I do feel a little bad sometimes that my Plot with me's are so repetitive and my narrations are also very repetitive but um, I'm assuming that most people have some sort of routine in their days and it's not always like super exciting so yeah anyways I then actually did something very exciting which is go to Subway for some reason these past few weeks I have this like fixation on Subway and basically what I do is I pack up my laptop and my headphones and I walk all the way to the mall which has a food court and in the food court is a subway and then I order my subway sandwich and I find a seat in the food court plug in my headphones and I just work on my laptop while eating my subway sandwich and I know it sounds kind of strange but it's honestly like one of the things that makes me super super happy I have no idea why I just find it so relaxing to have like a bunch of people buzzing around but like I'm not really tuning in because I have my noise cancelling headphones in and I'm just eating a mediocre sandwich and working on emails. Anyways, that's what I did on Thursday and then after that I continued working. Um, I did some more emails and then we had a delivery so I put down a package sticker and then I packed orders for um, about two hours. Thursday evening I was able to do a bunch more designing so I put down this panda working sticker for my shop and also this TV emoji also for my shop to mark in that I was watching Gilmore Girls and then um, Thursday evening I once again was having very bad stomach pains so I put down this panda doodle sticker from Sparkly Paper Co. On Friday, I continued working but I put down this tummy ache emoji because after my tummy ache on Thursday evening, it kind of extended into Friday morning but then by noon, I was feeling okay so that's good. But anyways, I did work and then I went to the gym and then I went to Save On Foods and then after Save On Foods, I continued work. So I had three major um, types of work that I wanted to do, which is why I took my tumble dual brush pen using the bullet tip and I kind of sectioned off the entire work arrow so that I could kind of get a general idea of how I wanted to structure my work block. Then I put down a speech bubble to mark in that I had a FaceTime thing and then I put down two bullet point stickers along with this sort of um, cozy girl sticker from Fox and Pip to mark in that I wanted to do some more designing. I always feel very cozy when I design in the evenings. And then moving on to Saturday, which was, oh, which was today, but technically yesterday because it's currently past midnight. Um, I started off with my usual work routine and after the gym, I put together the final package for one of my customers. Um, she's in the USA and she sent me so many goodies from Trader Joe's. I didn't ask for it at all, but she just like, I think she knew that I loved Trader Joe's and we don't have Trader Joe's in Canada so she just sent me a bunch of things and oh my goodness, everything's so amazing. So yeah, we don't have very many cool things in Canada that isn't in the US to be honest, but there are a few things like celebration cookies and coffee crisps and like ketchup chips and all dress chips. So yeah, I just did a little scouting for some Canadian snacks and I put together a little parcel, which was really fun. Then I wanted to work on this video and also some website reorganization stuff. And then I put down this Mona Lisa emoji sticker from my shop, which is honestly one of my favorite stickers to mark in that I had a little bit of a personal painting time, which was super lovely. And then earlier today, my mom got some of her teeth extracted. So that was a pretty big deal. I just wanted to get some like soft foods from the grocery store. And then in the evening, um, obviously at the time of filming this video, I couldn't anticipate that I would have one of the worst stomach 
pain episodes of my life maybe i'm being a little bit dramatic so yeah i didn't end up doing a lot of this stuff and maybe in my updates video i will show you but um i will cross this off and speaking of which i i don't know if i'm being too ambitious but i'm hoping to do two videos next week one is going to be my january planner updates video in which i do a flip through and talk through of all of my spreads in January, but not just in my Hobonichi Cousin, um, also in my Hobonichi Weeks, and probably also my bullet journal. And then if possible, I also want to film some sort of a daily journaling vlog, which I think will be fun because we will also be reopening the store next week. Anyways, this has nothing to do with the plan with me. Um, I planned a little bit of Sunday, but I didn't finish it off just in case there were things that came up in the evening but I just filled in my usual routine. And that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and week ahead. Bye.